Here we go! Coming in to ride the express, I would definitely recommend maybe getting a hotel room in either Long Beach or Anaheim or something. That way you're not, you know, you never know what kind of traffic you're gonna get on the freeways, right? And if you're late, you're either gonna lose your tickets and still have to pay for it, or you're gonna get crappy seating. There is two rates. There's a standard seating, which jams everybody in the bottom. And then I think there's a captain's lodge, I think they call it. And it's a little bit more and they offer you a free beverage. Um, for all four of us, it was about 383 bucks. Now that is standard one way in Captain's Lodge on the way back because that's all they had available. So. when you come in is the Garibaldi fish, right? Bright orange. I think they're protected too, so you can't really fish for these. So they have some really cool things they've added since I've been here, it's been a while, but um, they got some playgrounds here, some basketball courts, volleyball. It's pretty cool, right here on the bay. This is, look how cool this is, man. Isn't this beautiful? Check this out. Isn't that cool? How'd you like to live here, dude? Would that be crazy? Living at Catalina Island overlooking the bay. Look at that. Cool. You get here and you're like a kid in a candy store. There's so much to do. There's so much to look at that you actually, you're just like, your eyes are going everywhere. You don't know where to start, right? So maybe kind of get a plan like together, like, right? Maybe say, okay, we're gonna go and we wanna do this. We wanna go for, you know, the golf cart ride around the island. We wanna go snorkeling we want to maybe go on a glass bottom boat or a submarine ride maybe hang out on the beach for a while maybe try to kind of get an idea because if you come here with no plan you're gonna be like whoa where do we start because there's just so much to look at and there's so many things to do so kind of do some research and see if you can get a plan of action at least to get you started then you can kind of change a plan along the way what the steak and eggs looks like here um not grilled i would have liked it grilled but that's okay i'm not complaining and then what'd you get sonny you got the my olives and lettuce look at mine i'm the fatty look everybody here is eating well we're all eating keto here right yeah. keto keto and then here is fish and chips and pancakes oh i only got a knife and you get they give you kind of small cuts too and uh, you get one refill, and then also there's no free water, right? So if you want water, you're gonna get have to get bottled water. So there it is. My advice would be after eating here is that, like, that is not as good as like some of the best 
Bakersfield places to eat, right? And we walked out of there about $88, dude. 88 bucks, dude, for that. And it was not as good. So my advice would be if you are coming here, do yourself a favor. Pack yourself some lunch stuff. Unless you want to eat out. If you want to eat out, you can. But that is going to take a big chunk off your trip if you can bring some food. So a little advice right there. All right, so here's your rental rates. So you can get boogie boards, tubes, chairs, umbrellas, beach towels. Everybody in your member should have a backpack. And in that backpack, you have your towel, you have whatever, you know, a spare change of clothes. I would do like your bathing suit and then have a regular pair of clothes. And uh, yeah, I would definitely do that. But <clears throat> you don't have to bring like tubes and all that stuff. They're gonna have that here. So let's go take a look at the beach area. You can sit up here, right? And then out here is the little beach area, it's cool. That's fun. So this is the pier. They have uh, some places that you can get things to eat. And I believe that they also maybe launch out of here on some things. I know you can get tickets for stuff out here. But this, yeah, this is probably an area where you can rent boats and stuff, right? Yeah, Joe's rent a boat, dude. There you go, right there. So they rent boats. These little, they're called skiffs. Let's see. Yeah, so I think you can rent these right here. Dude, look how clear that water is, isn't that crazy? Wow, that's neat. One of the things I would do if I came here is bring yourself one of those you know, water bottle, it's the ones you can seal up because they do offer these filtered water bottle fillers on the beach. That's really cool as, you know, compared to the old style, you get what you get. So that is kind of nice for them to offer that. So we are going for the golf, golf, are we golf cart. Is everybody down with the golf cart? Yeah. Everybody good for the golf cart? We're going to do golf cart. It's 1230. We're going to start with that. I'm getting cash here because you have to have money cash here for deposits so i am gonna get it they do charge you three bucks so you'd be better just to get cash before you came here i wasn't expecting that i don't know why i wasn't thinking i probably should have had more cash with me ladies and gentlemen boys and girls please keep all hands feet inside the golf cart at all times All right, so this is interesting. So I stopped off here, nice vista, right? Off the island, but what's really interesting is this tree has all kinds of shoes on it. And I don't know if that means there's drug dealers or what, but maybe not, maybe it's something more fun. So there's a lot of natural cactus on this route and, or cacti, that's right, Nicole, correct me. It is cacti. And then there's also a lot of bees around some of the cacti, yeah, so. So here's the pet graveyard. There's George, Bernie Mac, Charlie. There it is. If you want to live on the island and you lost your pet, you have a graveyard for him. Another cool view from the top. Is that cool? You definitely don't see a lot of big cars out here for sure, right? So I'm down here, man. This was not here last time I was here. They have a, a ballpark and football field. I don't know if it's, it might be for a high school team. If they do, you know, play high school sports here, I'm sure they do, but it's pretty cool. It's all turf, right? Even the base running pads are turf. Check that out. Isn't that cool? Man, really nice too. And they don't have it locked down. So, I mean, I would imagine, I don't know if it's open to the public, but really nice facility. This is pretty cool. This wasn't here when I was here a while back. Got soccer and everything. 
Here's a travel tip for you that if you are going on the golf cart ride at the ballpark or wherever, they have some of the nicest, cleanest, unpopulated bathrooms in all of Catalina Island right here. So if you have to stop, it's a good place to do it. You can actually shoot a round of golf here. I'm sure you can rent the clubs and a golf cart, of course. Pretty small course, but hey, out there and shoot a few holes. Oh boy. Hang on. Look at this house. Isn't that crazy? It's really cool. Well, that was a lot of fun. Now we're gonna go do some snorkeling and I did bring my GoPro. So hopefully we can get an underwater adventure. Okay, so we are here at the uh, snorkel rental area. Pretty good, 12 bucks for two hours. That's not that bad, right? And so that's a lot of fun. So we are gonna do it. I'm getting mine. All right, so here we are at the lagoon. There's people out there snorkeling. That's where we're gonna go. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Like I mentioned, I have my GoPro. Um, it'd be kind of nice if you have someone with you that you guys can take turns just so you can kind of have your stuff up here on the rocks and nobody steals it. I don't think anybody would though. These are all tourists. But um, yeah, the water looks super clear. So we're going to get the GoPro in there and have some fun. There's Uncle Eddie. What? Uncle Eddie. Hey, Clark. I said Uncle Eddie. Oh, God. By far the best thing we did at Catalina was the snorkeling. It was so much fun and it was actually the most cost effective thing that we did. I mean, it was 12 bucks for two hours. We could have brought our own stuff if we wanted to. Compare that to going on a glass bottom boat or a submarine, which is gonna cost you about 50 bucks a ticket. And this is way better because you're actually swimming with the fish. The water is super warm. It's like 72 degrees, sometimes I feel like 80 degrees. And you get to swim with these fish. Of course, this is the crown jewel, the Garibaldi. Uh, it is a state fish. You cannot fish for these at all. Um, they actually end up in aquariums sometimes in their juvenile state. They're really beautiful as a juvenile. And then they kind of get to a dark color when they're in their teens or whatever, and then they get to this bright orange. But it is amazing. I mean, you're out there. I don't think you have to worry about shark attacks. I did some research. I don't think there's ever been a shark attack at Catalina that was fatal. I don't know. I could be wrong, but it is very, very rare if it does happen. There's not very many great whites that cut through this area. There is some blue sharks and there is some leopard sharks, and those are low risk to people and you're probably not gonna see one. Visibility is super far. Um, you don't have to be a great swimmer because salt water is very buoyant. You can literally float on the top just by, you know, just doing nothing. You're gonna float at the top of the water. Um, yeah, it was just unbelievable, man. I mean, I, I wanna go back and do it again. It was that much fun. I can't believe I haven't done this more. I mean, you talk about things to do, you know, we all say, oh, there's nothing to do around here. I mean, do you get in there? And in one day you can go snorkeling with tropical fish and come back. I mean, what do you want? So it was really cool. Um, it is, sometimes you look at those kelp and you kind of kind of get a little freaky when you start getting out there, but really there's nothing to be danger, nothing of danger out there for you. Um, I will say there are times when there's more visibility. Uh, this was pretty clear day. Uh, I think there are some days where it's super clear. Um, sometimes those boats that come through, like the submarines and the glass bottoms, they do churn up a little bit of stuff. But you may wonder why this water is so good. And it is because, see that surface? It's all rock bottom, right? So it keeps the sand from churning up with the water. So you get this really clear lagoon area. These sea bass were a little freaky. I mean, they, they kind of stare at you with their eyes and they're like red eyed. And, uh, but I mean, nothing to worry about. I mean, they're, they're harmless at first. But I was surprised that our daughters enjoyed it as much as they did. Even Nicole liked it. She's not the biggest, like, this isn't really her wheelhouse, but she really had a good time doing it. It's a lot of fun. Nicole's hair always looks like a mermaid when she's in the water. She has crazy hair. Yeah, these fish are so beautiful, man. I could just sit here all day and watch these videos. They're so neat super peaceful and they hang out here because those boats when they do come by they throw fish food out right so the people in the submarines can watch the fish come up so oh real quick i want to show you this see that black fish down there with the white dot so that's a juvenile garibaldi right or a teenager one 
they turn black with a white dot and then eventually it will turn bright orange. Yeah, definitely make this on your list if you go to Catalina. Do a little bit of fishing here off the end of the pier. Pretty cool. What? Whoa. There are magnets, I think, in there. Yeah? Oh, yeah. It's a circle. Whoa. And they never stop moving. It's really cool vibe when it gets around like five o'clock. I'm not gonna be here tonight, but I know this place is probably pretty cool. Like some of the bars and restaurants that are uh, that are here. I don't know how I ended up in the massage chair, but I'm loving it. So, Lloyd's of Avalon is supposed to be world famous for its ice cream and stuff. So, we're gonna get one for Sammy's. Oh, snap. Get the SpongeBob push pop. The SpongeBob? Oh, my Just God. Just take out. Just take out. You know, I, of course, I came out here and I'm doing a review, but I didn't even touch the surface on things you can do here. Yeah, like, there's a lot of stuff. Like the zip line. I wish we had time to do that. I'd like to go on the submarine. That's cool. We've done the submarine before. In I the know, past. but it's awesome, though. Yeah. No, yeah. I, I've never done the glass bottom boat. No, we haven't. This is definitely needs to be like a two day trip yeah. if you can. We try to get it all in one day. We had to cut our golf cart short because we didn't want to go over yeah. to pay another 60 bucks. Right. So, but yeah, there's some good stuff here. Lots of cool stuff. Man, dude, look at this thing. Whoa. That's a collector's item right there. That's a super best buy. So when the sun starts going down, you can actually go here and eat on the beach. They'll actually have waitresses and waiters come out and serve you on the beach. That's pretty cool. At the top of the hill near the casino, you can see a bell tower. And if you look closely, you may spot the bat symbol. Really cool art on the tile on the way to the casino. Oh, nice. Oh, I don't like the shark out there. I saw a bunch of this stuff on the Cubs, right? I'm like, man, why do these people care about the Cubs so much? Well, it's because they used to play their minor league baseball here. Well, or at least their, I don't know if it's their pre-season or minor league baseball, but they used to play right here at Catalina Island. So a lot of Cubs fans here, surprisingly. You get to walk along all the boats, take a look at them. So we've passed the casino right right there and we're going to keep walking and i someone had mentioned that this is a cool area to hang out during the day right all these gazebos and all that stuff so we'll check it out it does look cool so let's go see it the sun comes down late here and this is probably the best beach area of the whole island like i didn't even know this was here let's go down and take a look yeah, that is really nice. Yeah, that's cool. Nice sandy beaches. They got chairs. It's nice. They do have their rental station here. Of course, they're closed right now because it is going down. The sun's going down. Oh man, this is where you do the zip line, dude. Next time. 
next time I'm coming back for that zip line, but it is here. So if you want to do the zip line, you come through here and uh, yeah, man, look at all that. So fairly reasonable, kind of like a set standard across the whole, you know, island. But man, I do definitely want to do that, that zip line thing. That's really cool. Bar still open. That's pretty cool. Man, look at this beautiful sight. Have a couple of drinks at the bar overlooking the beach. Doesn't get much better than that. It's cool. You definitely don't want to miss your ride back. Just <laughs> stay the night out here. So this is the free drinks that you get when you go on the Commodore Lounge. Right? I got root beer. You got coffee, right? Got coffee. Yeah. I got root beer. With my flavored cream. Oh, that's good. Okay. Yeah. Let's have a root beer party. Overall, this is a great trip for people that live in California. It often gets overlooked and replaced by amusement parks. I mean, people go to Disneyland for the 20th time rather than going and experience this awesome place. I would definitely recommend this. It's probably gonna be a little bit cheaper than an amusement park, especially if you plan it correctly, bring your own food, bring some snacks. Um, yeah, it's just a great trip and it's gonna be fun for the whole family. So anyway, there it is. There is our little summer vacation into summer vacation and definitely you can go any time of the year and it's always going to be fun.